Hey everyone, welcome back to the Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. We have another puzzle haul here today. And I know I have not done all the puzzles that I've gotten recently, but this is over the course about a month. I'm trying to justify it because I have a puzzle channel, so I need to get new puzzles. Anyways, we are going into this. It's a whole mix of stuff. Some things are from puzzle swaps. I have some things from a couple stores. We are just gonna get into this. So the first group of puzzles is from Hobby Lobby. They recently had a 40% off all their puzzle sale, which I am surprised. I only got three. I had about six in my cart, but I was like, oh no, I have already too many puzzles that I haven't done yet, so I'm gonna just get three. So let's start off with the first puzzle, which is from Aquarius Select. Never heard of this brand, but it was $13.99 plus 40% off. That was such a good deal. It's from the artist Dean Russo, and then he has this very distinct artistry, and this one is so pretty it says beware of pit bulls they will steal your heart because i have found so many pit bulls that are so lovely in my life i have a friend who has a pit bull my sister has a pit bull and they're just beautiful animals that are super happy very friendly and i know it all depends on their upbringing but i just loved this image and i thought it was super pretty and i love the colors it's only 500 pieces and i think i feel like this one will photograph really well and then the second one i have is from cobble hill i love cobble hill because they have very wonky pieces they are more of a matte finish and they have some really fun images and this one is just baked goods. So, so far all the Cobble Hill puzzles that I've done have only been Christmas themed. So I'm really excited to do something non-Christmassy related because I know they have a ton of other images. You guys know I do love puzzles with baked goods in them. So I thought that would be fun and it was $12.99 plus the 40% off. And then the third one that I got is actually three puzzles in one, which is why I only got three, because I was like, technically I'm getting five. So this one is from the brand Triptych, and it's 1,500 pieces, but it's in three 500-piece panels, which I thought was really cool, and I thought I could do a video about it. And it's a scene that I normally don't do. I normally don't do those landscape -y type of scenes, but I do like how this one is like in three blocks. So I, over the course of a month or so, I can have like this giant 1500 piece puzzle. So I liked this idea because I normally don't do over a thousand pieces because I don't have the space for them. So having three 500 piece blocks is definitely more manageable because then afterwards I can put them all together to see the full image or I could just have one 500 piece puzzle at a time. So I like that idea. And this one was a really a good price. It was $15.99 plus the 40% off, and I feel like that was such a good deal for pretty much like three puzzles. The next four puzzles I purchased at Barnes & Noble, and since I read a ton, and now I'm buying a ton of puzzles, I do have their like rewards card, so I get like a percentage off my purchase. So I did get four puzzles, and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, so I love the Rifle Paper Company, and then when Karen Puzzles posted that they had puzzles, I was like, oh my gosh because I have a lot of their notebooks and other things throughout my house and their images are just really pretty. They're also more of a sustainable brand. So I love the concept of it. And so when I saw that they had puzzles at Barnes & Noble when I was there, I got three of the four. I didn't get all four because two I feel like are very similar, but the ones that I did get, we have the maps puzzle, which is the 12 panels of all different cities, which I thought would be really fun. We also have this one, which is called Camant Puzzle. It reminds me of like a European type of restaurant where it's like on an estate with all these like beautiful trees and flowers. And the final one I got was the garden party, which is this beautiful flower scene. And they are pricier. They are 34, I think. Yeah, $34 per puzzle. But since I did get a percentage off at Barnes & Noble, I think it runs up to be like $27 per puzzle which I could justify a little bit more than over $30 for a 500 piece puzzle. But again, they are more sustainable brand. The boxes are gorgeous, like stacked up. Like these are the most beautiful boxes. You will see those in a video eventually, but I have so many puzzles on the docket, it might be a bit. Um, next we have is this one from Vintage Puzzles. Oh, it's called Cav Cavallini and Company. I see these all the time on Amazon and I saw this at Barnes & Noble for $22 plus to get my discount. So I just love this different style. Um, it's called Vintage Puzzles Bee and & Honey and it's a beehive with like flowers all around it and I thought it'd be a fun one to do and the packaging is just spot on. So very excited about this one. 
And then the final four puzzles that I have are all from swaps. So a couple of you have reached out to me and we've swapped puzzles and I think that's like the best thing that is coming out of my channel. It's just like getting to know you, making sure my puzzles have a new life and grabbing things from you. It's been so much fun. Um, so I have four puzzles here from Puzzle Swaps. The first one here is a buffalo puzzle from Charles Wusaki and it's called Benjamin's Music Shop, which since you may have seen the video about me talking about myself, I was a music major. So I love that it has like this little music shop and it's, I in general like this style of Buffalo puzzles. It's a thousand pieces, looks super fun and vibrant and thinking more I'll do it in the fall since it has more like a fall vibe. The next one I have is also from Buffalo and it's 500 pieces and it's like this beautiful Italy scene. It's on this cliff with these beautiful buildings and this beautiful sky. I thought that would be a really fun one to do. And then I did get two from Ravensburger. By the way, do you say Ravensburger or Ravensburger? Let me know. Anyway, so we have this mystery one. It's called an escape puzzle, which how fun. It's 759 pieces. She did give me the answer in a little sealed envelope, so I couldn't see what it is since she did send it to me. So I am very excited to try this. Have you heard of them? Have you tried one? What are your thoughts? Um, but this one is a level two of their, oh, they have up to level five. Wouldn't be really sad if I could do the level two and then I'm like, well, Never gonna do anything harder. Um, but we love escape rooms. There's a few in our area. And so I'm excited to do more. The final one is also from Ravensburger. It's this really fun, more pop culture Wizard of Oz scene. It's called Lions and Tigers and Bear, oh my. And look how fun this one is. This one is just looks super fun and vibrant and different from Ravensburger ones that I've seen. Cause you know, a lot of them are more of those are traditional like cottage scenes or landscapey scenes. This one that really screamed out to me when she showed me a picture of it. She's like, hey, do you want to swap puzzles? And I was like, yes, that is super cute. And I'm very excited to do them. Anyways, that is it for me today. I know I have a lot of puzzles on my docket right now, but if there's anything here that you are interested in seeing a video of, let me know. But that is it for me today. I feel like now I need to put in like the breaks for puzzle haul. So you might not see one in a while because I need to just catch up on the things that I need to do. So thank you so much for tuning into this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.